It's home tour day again. Today I am here at 5891 Barley Path in the village of Citrus Cove. I'm just gonna take my little flip flops off so they don't flip floppy all over the house. Block and stucco, two car and a car garage. Privacy is on the preserve and room for a pool. So let's go on in and take a look around. Oh, by the way, if you're new here, I'm Robin Cavallaro. I'm a realtor here in Florida. I primarily sell in the villages. If you're looking to buy or sell, give me a call. I'm your girl. All right, now we're gonna go inside. Well, let's uh, just do, uh, I lied to you. We're gonna take a little pan of the neighborhood. This is probably about a half a mile from Sawgrass Grove. Uh, oh, you can hear the drone. Uh, it's photo day. So uh, my photographer, Todd, is taking some drone shot. I do want you to see this is block and stucco and a two car and car garage. This is over 2,000 square feet and the bond is paid. Seriously, big deal down here. This is a new home. All right, let's go inside. All right. We are in a Bridgeport model, which is two and a half bathrooms. Now, you don't find that too often in the villages. Three bed, two and a half bath. Now, this is not turnkey and the furniture is not included. The seller is taking everything. We have tile floor. Bedrooms all have a closet. A lot of open space, nice, bright rooms. He has a great car collection here. Um, this does have a Jack and Jill bathroom. So we have bedroom, bedroom, and this section shares that bath and shower. This is Sumter County uh, Wildwood. So it's not as expensive as if you go further south with your taxes which is awesome. And again, I can't stress enough, this home, the bond is paid. Closet. My stomach's growling. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that. I need something to eat. All right. Bathroom has quartz countertops, white cabinets, and these are the um, and soft closure, the oil bronze, fixtures, cast iron tub. Now this tub is low. So here, I'm gonna get you. So it's not a big step up. That's important as we get older, no one wants to step over anything and fall. So I think that's very important tile. And it does have a niche for all of your shampoo and good stuff like that. Pocket door will close off this bedroom and this bedroom from the bathroom. And you do have an entrance way, which is important. You know, when you come into these big homes, you would expect that. Pocket door in the second, or this is the half bath. And I don't, you know, I don't know why more homes here don't have the half bath. Oops, my phone's ringing. Hold on, gotta get rid of that. Um, tray ceiling. Now, they will leave behind the brackets for the TVs, but the TVs do not convey. The furniture does not convey with this home. Beautiful, large kitchen, separate laundry. Laundry's in the interior. You do have this desk space. So if you, you know, you need a place uh, to put your computer, you have it. Extra storage, extra tall cabinets. If you notice that here, crown molding on the top and there you see the molding underneath and you do have, I'll show you over here, toe kick light, under counter and above counter lighting. Stainless steel appliances. This is a huge island and it has that farmhouse sink, which I love. I couldn't do that in my house, but, um, and 
one big sink. You know how I love that. And this is gas, so it's tankless hot water. Beautiful breakfast area. This home faces east, and there is the preserve out there. Wait till you see the outdoor space. And again, there is room for a pool. This is over 2,000 square feet, and the bond has been peed. It's a nice open area. If you like to entertain, this is a great space to do it. And I mean, look at these cabinets. You have tons of storage there. You do, I know a lot of people want to have a pantry, but you really, I don't know how you need a pantry with all this space here. And the garage is large enough. They have pull down steps. If you needed extra space, well, you have it there. All right, so before we go outside, I want to take you into the master suite, double door or the primary suite same flooring throughout the entire home, which I personally like. Have large windows, again, big tray ceiling, open and airy. His and her closets. Just give them a little push open. God, my stomach is... <laughs> uh, yeah, and he's a fellow pickleball player. That's how I know the owner. Roman shower. You have a little bit of a linen closet. These are black fixtures, so you have lots of storage space in the bathroom. And I tell you, believe it or not, these are not that hard to maintain and keep, keep clean. I have a large glass um, shower door and I just squeegee it and wipe it down with a microfiber and it keeps it looking like this all of the time. But just look, you just have a lot of space and there's the big squeegee. Clean up the breeze. <laughs> and dual sinks. If you want space to put down your makeup, there I am. And these all have soft closures as well, separate commode, pocket door. Oh, this is getting crooked here. All right, I think we're doing good so far. So now we're gonna go out onto the lanai and then I'm gonna take a spin around the neighborhood or around the house, I should say. So let's go on outside. And then, I'm sorry guys, I'm gonna hit the garage last on this one. Stay tuned. <laughs> all right, so large slider. Now, this is composite plastic. The owner laid this himself, and it's very easy to wash and clean. They just spray it off. He said sometimes they'll take the vacuum out through here, but it's very easy to maintain. TV bracket there will stay. The TV does not convey. So you have really nice space out here. It is elevated, and you can see there's water, and then you have this preserve area here. Got a little friend there. They're doing construction on the house next door to them. They're really building a monster pool. But um, I have attached to the MLS listing the drawing for the pool. TD Pools did that for me. Thank you very much. Um, so you do have room here if you chose to put a pool and you have a separate area here for your grill. But it's just so quiet back here. If anyone's looking for privacy, this is definitely a space that you're going to want to consider. This is listed for $8.99 and the bond is paid. All right, let's go around the back outside and then we'll make our way out front. Again, all the homes here have irrigation. This neighbor, theirs is actually enclosed and closed. So that's gonna give you another level of privacy. You could really make this backyard space amazing.
Again, this is Citrus Grove, so the homes are built in 2020, 2021. Coming around in the front. So this is Barley Path. Seth Run takes you across over to Megasin, right up to Sawgrass or out to 470. Everybody's friendly here in the villages because it is America's friendliest hometown <laughs> or Florida's friendliest hometown. Take a look at the laundry. Has a built-in cabinet for the utility sink and some extra storage above. And there's a pocket door that's gonna close off the laundry from the rest of the home. And then we do have a two car and golf cart garage. Insulated door. Unlike many of the homes, this one does have a very high ceiling in the garage. You'll find some of the older homes, the garage ceiling is very low, but there are your pull down steps. Your air handler is here. Remember this is south of 44. So we have tankless hot water and the water softener will also convey with the home. Any of the toys, gadgets, cars are not included. And there is your irrigation and your electrical panel. <laughs> All right, I'm back where I'm started from. I hope you enjoyed this home tour. I'm Robin Cavallaro. I am a realtor here in Florida. If you're interested in touring this home, I do have several other listings, different price ranges and different style homes. Please give me a call if you wanna see any of those or any home in the villages. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, I'll see ya.